Transenterix is a company that has been quite exciting around this channel recently. I did make a video about them about two days ago, roughly, where I did a full overview, a full breakdown. I brought you guys their financials, their management, some predictions that I have for the future, catalyst risk, everything like that. So if you are looking for an analysis, definitely hop about two days ago. It should be like six or seven videos ago. And I did talk about TRXC. With that being said, though, we did get some pretty good news today. And seemingly the market's not reacting to it in the best light. But I think in the long run, this could be beneficial news. I will be talking about all of this i will be covering what my prediction is for this company i will also be letting you guys know what i am doing and my intentions with this company as i am investor and investor into trxc and i do hold some shares so i'll let you know let you guys know how i'm playing it if you guys do enjoy this video you can definitely let me know by smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel if you are new if you do have any hot topics suggestions feedback anything like that you can leave it in the comment section below as i do read every single comment and the majority of my content and feedback is accumulated from the comment section so don't hesitate to leave it there because i will definitely read it with that being said let's go ahead and let's jump straight into this article i don't want to hold up too much of your time i don't plan on this video being too too long i really just wanted to make sure that you guys got the information you're looking for and i'm providing the best content that i possibly can so with all that being said let's go ahead and let's jump straight into this article and let's see what's going on with transenterix ticker symbol trxc so if you needed a brief reminding of what transenterix does they are focused on digitizing the interface between the surgeon and the patient to improve minimal invasive surgery through a new category of care called digital laparoscopy. Digitizing the interface enables the use of advanced capabilities like augmented intelligence, connectivity, and robotics in laparoscopy. This also allows us to address the current clinical, cognitive, and economic, economic shortcomings in surgery. Our Senhan, our Senhan system features the first machine vision system for use in robotic surgery, which is powered by new intelligence surgical unit. This enables augmented intelligence and surgery. This enhanced surgical system brings the benefits of digital laparoscopy to patients around the world while staying true to the principles of value-based healthcare. So if we do come back up to the top, we can see that they announced a $31.25 million registered direct offering of common stock. Now, I will go ahead and say that I don't believe that this is the absolute worst news ever. I don't think it's necessarily the best, and I will go into that why. But at the end of the day, I do think that this could be beneficial in the long run if it is played right. But but the article says that Transenterix, a medical device company that is digitizing the interface between the surgeon and the patient to improve minimally invasive surgery, today announced that it has entered into securities purchase agreements with several institutional investors for the purchase and sale and a registered direct offering of 25 million shares of its common stock at a purchase price of $1.25 per share. Now, that's going to be super important, and we're going to highlight that because we're going to come back to it. Now, this is $1.25 per share for gross proceeds seeds of 31.25 million. The offering is expected to close on or about January 14th of 2021, which is about two days from now, which is subject to the satisfaction of customary closing conditions. Now, Transenterix intends to use the net proceeds from the registered direct offering to for general corporate purposes, including working capital. Now, the reason that I do believe that this could be a little bit better and why the market is reacting so negatively to this direct offering is the fact that this was offered at such a low price now generally we could see these be a little bit higher even there have been times if you think back to xbox whenever there was a direct offering at five dollars and it was trading at like four dollars that that was pushing the stock price up whereas whenever you look at a company like this one where it's going to do a direct offering whenever it's 25 million shares at the dollar 25 yet the stock price itself was at one point before this all happened at a dollar and 66 even pushing up on two dollars at one point that of course we are going to see some investors sell out and we are going to start to see this stock price test the price that that offering was made at. Now, whenever the day did start, we did see this thing drop initially a pretty substantial amount. I believe it was about 20% from market close yesterday. Let's see. Yeah, so it was about 20% from market close yesterday to today. Dropped all the way down pretty close to uh, $1.25, which is where the offering was. I'm actually pretty surprised that it didn't push even lower into the 20s. The fact that it didn't meet some of that resistance at around the 30, 31 and pushed its way back up. That is pretty interesting. I'm actually quite surprised about that because a lot of times we have seen in the past that whenever there's a direct offering with the price under whatever the price is, uh, you know, trading at before it, then it will push down a little bit closer towards that offering 
offering price. But the fact that it does know it's starting to work its way back up, we're currently down about 8% on day. Whereas in comparison to 20% earlier, that's not too bad. Even almost fully recovering the losses from today at one point around 1235. Now, the thing that I think going on with this stock, honestly, is that this is not a bad thing in, in, in most senses, honestly, because we did see a pretty substantial climb here. We saw them drop. We saw them go up initially, drop, started to trough out a little bit, pick up some of this upward momentum and start to recover. This was a growth of roughly 84%, so nearly 100% gain. And then we saw a little bit of a dip off, pretty similar in size to this one. Now, I honestly think that's quite normal. We are still in an uptrend as it does seem. Now, if this somehow does fall all the way back down here, we could be in some deep trouble. But it does seem like it's still in some pretty good upward momentum. The day does show that even with a big drop like this one, that there is still a lot of pressure upwards. And that is a very good sign, especially if you are a new investor into this company personally like I am. Now, whenever it comes to what I am doing with this company, I do believe that this is a fantastic company. I think purchasing this company was one of the one of the one of the investments that has the most potential in my portfolio. I really believe that the the technology they're using is the future of their industry, and I think that with the right marketing and with the right advertising, that they can really make that thing fly. I think that with the thirty one million dollars that they will be receiving from this deal, it could actually go into some fair use. I think that they could use it to reach a lot of the milestones in which they have set for themselves in twenty twenty one. If we do think back about to their website and everything from that last video I posted. There was a lot of different CE marks and a lot of different, you know, approvals and certifications that they were trying to reach this, reach this year that would then allow them to push out their products even further. And with this cash, it will then allow them to go ahead and start to, you know, get to those milestones and accomplish the goals that they have set for themselves. Now, whenever it comes to direct offerings, this is something that we have seen quite often, especially with penny stocks, is that when they do first happen and people start to, you know, come out with a direct offering, well, we have seen the stock price fall pretty substantially for many stocks. Now, we'll take you back to the computer here and we can take a look at one of the most popular penny stocks that is going around right now being BioNanogenomics. Well, I don't even know if we can call it a penny stock at this point, but BioNanogenomics had a price at a public offering of 29 million common shares at $3.05 a share about four days ago, roughly. We did see this drop it about 21% pre-market that day that it was announced. So as you can see that this is not uncommon whenever it comes to companies undergoing direct offerings. It happens more often than people realize. So seeing this drop really didn't scare me at all as an investor. I did see it this morning. I saw it after I recorded the last video you just watched. So I didn't miss the good drop, but at around 10%, 11% losses today, I did pick up some more shares and I do plan on continuing to pick up more shares as it does go on over through the week, because I do think that as you know, we get closer to the offering that it may stay dropping and up and dropping and up. So as we do see those dips, I'm more than likely going to continue to increase my position. Again, I know today's video was not the longest and it didn't have the most metrics and data and information, but I did want to make sure that I I'm keeping you guys as informed as possible about your favorite stocks. I feel like it is my responsibility, honestly, and I really love having the, I guess, the duty in a sense of bringing you guys the content that you're looking for, providing you with some of the information that can make your lives easier. And that is what I truly, truly love about this platform. It allows me to do what I love and talk about what I love and have such an amazing support system behind me as you guys show me so much support and so much appreciation and you make it so easy to want to put out this content. With that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I would like to know what you guys' plans and intentions are with TRXC. Are you selling? Are you buying? Are you holding? Let me know all of that down in the comment section below. I will more than likely interact with you there because I'm quite curious what other investors thought about today. If you have a different opinion on what all happened today than I do, definitely let me know down there because I do think that this can be taken many ways. What do you think is going, they're going to do with the money and what do you think this could mean for the company going into the future? With all that being said though, I am posting two to three and this is the fourth time in every single day so you guys can expect to see me very very soon i hope you have a great day i love each and every one of you and i really appreciate what all you have done for me in my life and i hope that i can do it back for you guys i'll see you i'll see you next time peace